we're looking more at instances like, say, a soldier goes into the battlefield. It's an implant where if they sustain an injury, they get immediate treatment. Um, it's already there. The medicine's already available. Or um, like diabetes treatment, it's closed loop. You know, you don't have to pick your finger 20 times a day and you're not administering the insulin yourself. We call it the sense, sense and act system. So um, it sense and acts all in one um, technique. So the system processes the inputs itself. You don't have to take blood tests to a hospital, get it analyzed, then the doctor um, determines the problem and then treats the patient. It's kind of like sense and act all together. Um, it does, it performs all the functions itself. So we functionalize two electrodes. We have a sense electrode and we have a treat electrode. Starting with the sense electrode, this is going to have what produces the signal for the drug release on it. So some molecule that can produce some um, trigger for response of the release electrode. In our case, we use a polymer film that has a drug, a drug entrapped in it, and it's uh, released. It's called a signal responsive uh, material. That means it releases its drug in response to some signal. And the signal is produced by the sensing electrode, which is stimulated from a biomolecule, like your body would produce. So your body produces some biomolecule in response to some injury or um, just a different level of something in your body. And that sense electrode sends a signal to the drug release electrode, and the drug release electrode releases the drug that then treats whatever the initial problem was. But I'm really glad that I ended up in the area that I'm in. Um, I always had an interest in medicine, but I didn't want to be a doctor. I realized that in undergrad. And this was just a logical alternative that presented itself that I enjoyed. I got here at the right time, and I really got to do some interesting work.